Hello and welcome. My name is Fu Man. This is episode number nine of my Feed the Beast series using the Brutality Config. Uh, today we're going to be working on the sawmill a little bit today. But first, I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some of the things that have happened since the uh, last episode. I've been working on Thomcraft. Been doing a lot of a lot of farms too. I shut off the tree farm. The uh, the cargo manager, uh, the small inventory was just too much to keep up up keep up with without the distributor going so I just went ahead and shut it off I still have maybe half a barrel of uh, wood I went ahead actually measured out the uh, the danger zone if you will here uh, this dirt is the do not put flammable flammable objects in it so let me just fly up here so you can see I had three blocks in there when I had the beam so I went ahead cut it out uh, so we'll definitely be doing this loft thing up here uh, maybe we'll put like fences here or something, or like a glass thing, so you can't uh, can't fall off. Had a suggestion for red stained glass, so I'll probably change these out. I like the lights here, so we'll change these to uh, red lights, and then we'll maybe uh, how do I get down right here? Maybe we'll change like all of these uh, glasses to red. I think that'll look really cool. Definitely add some color to this building. We did add nether brick, so I think uh, some red stained glass will help bring that color in. Uh, this been working absolutely great. Um, let's see, I made this guy, Arcane, what is this called? Arcane Work Table. And it also works like a crafting bench, so you can just stick that there and you get four wood. So, pretty handy. Uh, set up the infusion altar. I did research. Let me just show you real quick. What came all the way down here. Didn't get all the wands. And got most of the golems. I didn't get the, um... The crucible filling golem, or maybe it's one of these and I just missed it, but I didn't see it. I don't have it. I wish I did. Uh, I kind of tried to get like the uh, the stuff to get it, and I put something in, and I started researching the theory of everything, and I was just like, okay, that's a brick wall. Let's uh, let's put this uh, thumbcraft on hold for a while. Uh, you can see some of the stuff I used to research. The big ones, I think, uh, chiseled sandstone for magic aspect, smooth sandstone for the uh, the wealth aspect and the rest of it's just uh, pretty easy uh, grass for air too pretty good uh, most of the stuff in that chest is made of wood I didn't want to give you too many spoilers but yeah let's go ahead and start working on the sawmill uh, a couple episodes ago I talked about how if you visit a sawmill you'll end up getting like sawdust in your pockets in your ears just all over the place and I kinda wanna created that effect down here uh, so let's go ahead and do that. I've got some things prepared. And we'll see uh, exactly how it goes, if it goes, um, if it doesn't go. To start, we don't need these barrels here anymore, and that's not the tool you use to break them. This is... Get my barrels back, and I'm just going to put the gold pipe here and bring it into the floor. Actually, that's good. And what I'm going to be using is this guy. It's called an item router. It's from Mine Factory Reloaded. And if I right click to look at the interface, you'll see that it looks very, very similar to a diamond pipe. Well, it is, except it can output items into the air. Uh, you can have things place objects into it, like buildcraft pipes, red power pipes. Uh, turtles can place items into it. Tesseracts can place items into it. So what you can do is like plug up every side with like a wooden hoe or something and it can act sort of like a relay, like the Red Power 2 relay, this guy up here, for build craft pipe systems. Uh, do note though that the top of the block cannot be used as an output. So this is what I'm going to be using. Uh, if you look at the materials here, you get eight and it takes pretty much nothing. Uh, I don't have two diamonds to spare right now. In fact, I think I have zero diamonds right now. Well, I have one. Yeah, I think I have one lamin left. So I was looking for alternatives, and this seems like it's going to be perfect for, for this purpose. So the idea here is we're going to run pipe kind of like this. These are build craft pipes. The, thing, the reason we're using these is they're pretty much retarded and will spill items out into the world. So the idea here, here is we're going to use these to just spit uh, sawdust up into the world. 
So that looks good. Let's go over to this one and do kind of the same thing on this side. I don't want it to be too symmetrical. So maybe here. Because the idea is just random sawdust all over the floor. And we're going to have a golem come pick it up. I think it'll be awesome. Let's go this way. Is that the same? Nope. So looks good. Looks good. Uh, that's not too high. So this is the floor here. Let me grab some wood here. Grab this guy. Maybe fill out the floor a little bit so we can get an idea of what's going on here. And these will be the the output for the sawdust to come out onto the floor. Uh, you get the idea I'm going on here. I'm just kind of filling out the floor with uh, just a regular block. Now how I'm going to cover them up for now. Let me make a cover real quick. This is not how I'm going to do it in the end. I do want to get... Uh, the Buildcraft Facades, I found it will uh, be quite useful, primarily because they're flat. Now you notice I'm not doing a uh, any design in the floor right now. I think uh, we'll worry about that after we have some function going on here. I think it's always good to get, uh, get what works in, so you don't get stuck with something really pretty, but it doesn't work because you can't get to it. So I think this will be enough to demonstrate what I'm going for here and in the middle oh I didn't plan ahead all right so I built the wrong golem so we'll just work on this one side for now and let's see I don't like the gold pipe showing there so we'll probably get some facades or something to like build it into the uh, into the floor and then maybe it'll be like on a iron stand or something I don't know we'll see how that goes so the idea here is we need to plug up this thing. What is not an output? On this one, what color is on the other side? Green, nothing can go to green. Let's plug it up with a... Ooh, it takes it. Let's not do that then. Maybe a stick. And what's on this one? Blue. No, nothing goes blue. Oh, give me that back. I need that. Alright. So, I need sawdust to go to yellow, green and red, but I don't have any sawdust to put down there. So I need to definitely turn these things on. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll see how this goes. Am I out? I have a sawmill right here, and I just used the crafting recipe. How inefficient. That's okay, though. This whole project is nothing but uh, what looks cool, has no purpose, and, uh, yeah, just... Add some character to this sawmill, if you will. So right now, that's what it looks like. When I get, I think, uh, assembly table takes like 10 diamonds or something. Completely obscene and power that I don't have going on right now. So we're just going to use red power covers. And what else do I need? I need to turn those sawmills on to get some sawdust. So let me just, uh, yeah, I need to go make a wrench and grab my energy cell. So let me just fly on back home. I think it's really coming together. Really coming together. Let me show you the show you some things over here while I'm over here. Up here on the roof, this is the first uh, turbine I have. Let me just show you something. This thing has like insane durability. Like it hasn't even moved. Pretty happy about that. I thought I'd have to be farming flax like it's my job. I haven't had to do a thing with that. It's awesome. I uh, got the carrot farm for Thomcraft Research and the Netherwort farm for Thomcraft Research. Um, those are two, pretty much the only two you need. Cactus and cocoa beans are kind of useful, but you can get them from like wood swords and that kind of thing. When did I come over here? Oh, I wanted to make a wrench. This is what I want to use my diamonds for. I want to make a uh, Omni wrench from the Omni Tools Thermal Expansion guy. This thing is awesome. Uh, pretty much only wrench you have to make. Because if you type, like, wrench in here, you're going to have, like, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. You don't know which one goes to which thing, and it's just a pain. So the guys at uh, Thermal Expansion, COFH or whatever, they got this thing. It's awesome. And what I'm going to do is hold shift and right-click, and you can pick up uh, energy cells, and they keep uh, keep the energy stored. You know, so I don't have too much in here, but it's it's enough. Uh, some other things you can do. I guess I could demonstrate it. Um, if I shift click, not holding sh or not or right click without holding shift, it'll rotate the machine. 
if I hold shift and right click it will rotate the machine to the opposite side you just tear this up so you can see opposite side and if you hold shift and like double right click it breaks the machine and I'm pretty sure this has a hundred percent chance not to break your machine pretty sure don't exactly know but anyway that's kind of a quick uh, tutorial on your on your wrench pretty awesome pretty much uh, it will not leave my inventory from this point on in the series it's that good so now that we have uh, what did I grab? The cell. Let's actually get some sawdust going. Let me grab uh, some of this. Some wood. Oop, let me down. Yeah, we needed a staircase. Uh, that's not exactly a good staircase. <laughs> so let's... Uh, one, two, I don't know. That should be enough. Grab my energy cell and just plop it right there. I know I said I'd put it in the middle, but you know. So, what's going on? Wood's going there, and this should just be spitting up all over the place right now. Hello, where are you going? Oh, here they are. Yeah, this is the effect I wanted. Just sawdust all over the place. All right, now we got enough to actually set our uh, excuse me, set our things up. So we want uh, yellow, green, and red on this thing. So yellow, green, red. This one is red, yellow, blue. Red, yellow, blue. So now sawdust will only go to these paths, and it doesn't make a perfect ratio, but that's okay here. Uh, it's really just going for a random sawdust all over the over. It's the effect I want. So now we got that going, and sawdust will start spitting up around here. We need to put our golem somewhere. So let's uh, golems place items into inventories. And I think what I'm gonna do is put a uh, trash can right. Here. Do I want it against the wall? Let's see. This this is the wall. So the wall will be flush there. No, I don't want it against the wall. So maybe we'll put it right here. It's kind of close to this though. What about what's over here? Nah, I want it close to the uh, stairs, so that uh, when you come down here, you can see the trash can. So boop. So this has an inventory, so I can place my wood golem here, and he'll pick stuff up for me. I made a smart golem. I'm going to be changing this to a perceptive golem, I think, so he can actually see. He's actually going to go pick my uh, thing I dropped up. Let me just give him a way back up. Oh, he can do that. No! Come back. Go this way. Go this way, man. <laughs> Come on. Come on, guy. No! Go this way. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? Hmm. Alright, let's try that again. Do I have my wand on me? Of course not. Nope. You're not going this way, man. Come on. Alright, well, I need a wand. I want him to... Oh, there he goes. Just what I want. So he can start shoving things into the relay. But the problem here is uh, the relay is not going anything. So let's actually change that really quick. Let's uh, just have it go this way for now and just come up like right there. Uh, later, we'll set up a... Uh, What's it called? A place to uh, auto-craft the sawdust. You can find the U button on my keyboard right here. U button. Turn the sawdust into compressed sawdust, and then smelt the compressed sawdust into charcoal. Let's see. Do I have enough to make a chest on me? Yes. So let me make a chest right here. Actually, I have a barrel, so I'm just going to go like this. Oops. Oop. Get out of the way. I like this. And then we're just going to put a barrel right here for now. Temporary item storage. Let's set the barrel up to be sawdust. Oh, what are you going to do? Anything else in this relay that wants to come out? Take that. Yeah, tube. Alright, so, let's see what we got. Got this guy, got this guy. Let's see if he works. Let's uh, put some wood into the sawmill. Beep, beep, beep. Let's watch him go fetch. Alright, so the sawdust went down. <laughs> and spits up over there. He goes and grabs it. Oh, this is awesome. He puts it in. 
Now hopefully, sawdust will come into this barrel. <laughs> Alright, that's exactly what I wanted to go for here. I had a problem though. Let me see if I can recreate it uh, here instead of in my creative world. I'm just going to throw all that in there because I need it. And the problem I was having is uh, the golems do not cooperate with these covers very well. So eventually I'll change them out to the uh, facades from Buildcraft. I'm going to see if he does it. He starts like doing this little dance. That right there. Right there. So I had this problem where he would just do this for like 10 seconds and then go back to working. So what I found to do to stop him from doing that is just put a block on top of the cover. So what I'm going to do is just stick a fence here. Stick a fence here. And stick a fence here for now. Uh, definitely not permanent. I want the facades because they will be flush with the floor. And then uh, we can get it like a design going in the floor. I don't like the all wood feel. Oh man, this is so cool. Just sawdust all over the place. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, what else did I want to do here? I wanted to actually make a little trash can. So I'm going to do it with this guy right here. Let's, let's try my hand at, uh, at micro blocks here. Don't need any more of those. Slab. Panel. Panel strips. Panel strip corners. I think this is what I need here. Four, five, six. And I want to do like the, the standard... Rubber made, like 50 gallon. I don't know what it is, man. But you know what I mean. Those giant gray trash cans that you see pretty much everywhere. Where's my saw? Oh, no, no, no. Don't put that away. Where's my saw? Where? No, seriously. Oh, it might. He might have picked it up. Uh. Silly red power being smart. I need an inventory so that, uh. Let me just... This is an inventory. <laughs> this is terrible. So that that relay unclogs. Yeah, there's there's my saw. Give me that. So hopefully, actually, let's do this. Only pick up sawdust. Now, if I throw this on the ground, you're going to go pick it up? Nope. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Get out of there. Come on, guy. I don't want to lock you in my trash can. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. I think if I do this, he can't get in. I think. Don't hold me to it. So, get some of these. Make this a little taller. And then maybe a nice little lip around it. I was going to use these guys. Beep. Oh, it almost looks like one of those Mario... Uh, tube things. And we got these guys for the corners. Hello. There. Me through here. Oh, that's a little big. Hmm. Maybe without the lip on the top. And it'll look alright. Maybe we'll get like a different trim for the top. I don't know. I don't know. But I want a trash can here. I think you can still use it. Let's test. Uh, let's just throw some sawdust on the ground. Go, go fetch. There he goes. Grabs it. He can still read. Do you go in? Uh oh. Hello? Oh, is my relay clogged again? I can't see. But if they are clogged, they have like a little red light on them that says, hey, I'm clogged. Unclog me. Yeah, I need I need a chest. Let's uh, Let's just make one real quick. Give me one of these. I like how I have wood in the thing down there, and I still just use this this four wood crafting recipe. I'm sorry for those who are who are here for the efficiencies. Come on, overflow chest, unclog. Yeah, there's my relay. All right, I'll take this guy back. Cause I think he only picks up sawdust now. There you go. So he grabbed the sawdust. Throw all this in here. I think that's it. So what I'll do? I'll finish up the other half of this. This is awesome. This is awesome. And uh, next episode, definitely going to be uh, getting the real power down here. I don't like moving this back and forth. Uh, I've got some ideas. Got some ideas. And this stuff, I don't know. I don't know what I want to do next episode, actually. We need to uh, get a boiler down here. We need to get a cargo distributor up there. 
We need to uh, get a way to turn that uh, that sawdust into charcoal. There's a lot of work to be done here, and if I'm trying to stick to these shorter 15-minute episodes, it's going to be really hard. So expect some uh, some sawmill action for the next uh, next short while, and then hopefully we can start getting back into our mushroom thing. Uh, mushroom mushroom bowls. We need some wood for that. So I'll give you a hint as to where I'm getting getting that from. Anyways, uh, I just want to say thank you guys. I uh, my my email has been blowing up with uh, so and so has subscribed to your channel. I'm just like. That's cool. That's cool. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know how this whole uh, YouTube thing was gonna work out, and uh, apparently it's working out all right. Cause when I wake up in the morning, it's just like two or three people here, two or three people here. I think it's awesome. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting me. Uh, you guys have been awesome, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my my little janitor here cleaning up the sawdust down here. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time.